All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay, and I am here with the TCL 30V 5G. Now, this is exclusive to Verizon right now. Uh, it has some pretty decent specs uh, for what they're offering. For Verizon customers, you can get this for zero down. This is one of those phones that don't cost a lot, but gives you some high-end features. So zero down, I believe it's $299 full cost, but you know, for 30 months, this, this contract thing you can do, uh, you have the options, you choose. But inside of here is a 6.67 inch full HD plus display. 2 gigahertz processor, uh, octa-core processor, and that is, that is the Snapdragon 480. So as a techie, I have some concerns about that, but let's see how it runs. 50 megapixel shooter, 120 gigs of storage, four gigs of RAM, and a 4,500 milliamp hour battery inside. So we're gonna crack this open here. They actually do give you, <laughs> sadly, they give you an 18 watt charger in here. And I say that sadly because it's, it's this, this trend of the phones that cost a lot not having a charger, is super lame and if companies can put a charger in the box for a phone that's affordable uh, and not just any charger an 18 watt charger why can't the companies that are charging more do your charger in the box this is cold to the touch wow slide it out you get first look at the hardware here um and i'll get into the rest of the contents of the box but you have a headphone jack up top you know it's crazy that you get a headphone jack on all the phones that don't cost a lot uh, and you've got your speaker grills, microphone grill type C. You got a SIM tray on this side uh, and you've got volume rocker and power right there. Just the overall feel of the device in hand, it feels pretty good. Uh, nice slim design too. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that power up and I'll show you what else comes in the box. You got your SIM tool right here, a quick start guide, a type C charger and your 18 watt fast charging brick here, which is pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up uh, and I will come right back to you uh, with more information on this right now. So you just keep watching uh, and we're going to have a good time with this phone and my first impressions. Let's get it. All right. So here is the initial setup. This is what your screen is going to look like once you actually get it finished. Now, there are some uh, downloads going on in the background, but I haven't touched it. I just did the the uh, first setup. Now, upon checking, this phone does have a SD card slot and it has facial recognition for unlock. And obviously, you know, it has a fingerprint reader on the back here. Take a second. Let's marvel at the hardware for just a second because TCL is known for making great displays. Every TV I have is a TCL TV, uh, but their phones are coming along. This is some pretty nice hardware when you compare it to Samsung uh, and LG and phones like that and Motorola. This is really decent hardware and it fits right in line. It doesn't feel really cheap in the hand. It feels pretty good. I like how it slopes on the back on the edges here to fall down into your hand like so. So the fingerprint reader uh, works really fast. That's my first time using a fingerprint reader. Let's try it again. It works every time. So uh, let's check out the facial recognition here. Let's see. Oh yeah, it unlocked. So I'll need to go into the settings and have it to where it pops open on its own. So it does have 5G UW. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and download the speed test app real quick and we'll see if I can get some good speeds in my office with Verizon. Now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect Wi-Fi and we're over 5G UW. So first I'm gonna do the fast one. This is fast.com basically. And let's see how theirs does. Cause theirs starts right up. Now let's see if I can get those two gigs that people are, wow, this is, this is fast in my office for Verizon because normally their service isn't this fast in here. Uh, but this is looking pretty good. So 210 down. That's, I'm surprised at the networks nowadays that they're pulling so much harder now on, on speeds and, and I'm able to stream a little bit better without latency, lag or latency or anything like that. So this is a huge plus. I'll try the uh, speed test app that most people use, but I like to use this one too because it gives a little bit more information sometimes other than uh, what we see from the other applications. So upload speeds are still fairly low, uh, but uh, it's just something that we got to deal with right now with carriers. 50 is the most I've seen from, or 80, I think it is, maybe 80 to 100 I've seen with T-Mobile. Theirs is really fast. So these speeds are going to be fairly low for the upload, but download is going to be fairly decent because I'm only 5G UW, which is the ultra wide band. So they're, they've got some good download speeds, but um, let's uh, take a look at their their download speeds uh, on the speed test application. So 2.8 up, that's not the best to me, but let's see how this works out. And we'll go ahead and I'll do that later. Okay, now let's check out, uh, it is on Verizon 5G. Let's hit it and see 
if this one brings up anything different. I'm assuming it'll be at least 200. Yeah, that's this is the fastest I've seen Verizon's network in my house. I, I genuinely don't get these fast speeds in my house with Verizon. Uh, I, I normally get a lot less speeds, and I'm pretty pretty surprised. Um, yeah, I, th I think I'll, I think it's gonna be pretty nice. So yeah, same pretty much same speed. So this is good. I use two different applications, and they're they're the same. They're getting the same speeds overall. So accurate speeds from inside my house with two different applications. I can trust this now. So that's pretty good. Now let's get back into the device here. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, talk about the device itself. This is how it came set up to me. Other than me uh, installing, um, you know, a few applications. Let's get rid of this. I'll get this set up how I'm going to use it over time, uh, but this is what it looks like. So let's swipe up here, uh, and um, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see the TCL navigation. Now you can actually set this for different uh, things. So you can go by label, by name. Uh, you can do it by usage. Got it. You can do it by installation. Uh, you can do it by icon color, which is which is crazy, but it does that. And you can do it by category. Now, category, I think, is the one that I, I've always used the most. Uh, but we'll go ahead and switch it back to sort by name for now. Uh, let's go to category. I like category. There we go. Because it gives a little divider and you can kind of separate them. But this is what it looks like right now. So let's go into settings and we'll show you what this looks like uh, from here. So uh, this is the uh, colorful, a very colorful icon setup. I like this too. Uh, you've got your network. Um, You've got your network, uh, and you've got uh, your, uh, let's see, if it's, I don't think this has NFC. Nope, no NFC. Uh, I gotta turn on gestures. You got your connected devices, USB, you got Android Auto, which is nice. Uh, you got your home screen set up. So the layout here, you can do themes on here, which I think is pretty cool too. Currently, I think I'm on the round one here, and I like that one better. Uh, I don't like the freestyle as much as the round. The round is more stock Android from what I could tell. You got your launcher. You can do simple launcher or you can do the big launcher that I'm using now, the default, the full default. Uh, home screen settings. This is where I think you should always adjust to the highest settings if you can. Uh, because, you know, you're getting the full adjust of your of your, your screen. The 20 by 9 aspect ratio, you should use it. So you've got discovery or none. I always have the Google discovery on. Recent apps, uh, app icon, the badges, and you know, the, the norm. And here's your launcher down here once again. They've got it in two places right there, but that's fine. Uh, your style is uh, the TCL style by default, and then you have the classic. Uh, I like the TCL style, so I'll leave it there. Uh, lock screen is on, no lock screen message, blah, blah, blah. Now here's where we get into the modes here. So let's go ahead and uh, get this up a little bit. I like that it has 30 uh, for the uh, time. And you've got your refresh rate. So you've got your smart refresh rate uh, to save power. And then you have 60 hertz. And I find it strange that they're actually offering this like this. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's pretty cool that they're actually being able to save battery and scale it down even further, even with 60 hertz. That's the first I've seen that. So you've got your battery display next to the icon. You got your show network speeds. I, I like to have that on for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. And you got more notifications there. So a uh, dark mode. Let's go ahead and turn that on now. And that's a lot more uh, to my, appealing to my eyes. I don't know about yours. Then you got more display settings down here. You can do screen server for colors or whatever. So uh, let me see what else they got in there. Yeah, they just have photos and colors. All right. So. I need to get into the gestures, but first we do that. We need to go over here to the what they call the NXT Vision. This is on all of their devices right now because it is definitely gonna make the screens a lot more. And I'm glad it's on Vivid already because I like Vivid uh, and I think that's really great. So you've even got sunlight display to increase brightness. Maybe I have to check that out. Uh, sound and vibration, notifications, uh, many, many notifications are on so many notifications notifications are shown in the form of a small ball preview uh click to open okay that's pretty cool we'll turn that on you got your smart manager and things like that your memory advanced features you got your remote lock your game mode i like that it has a game mode you got your screen recorder in here and get multiple users and one hand mode uh, so you got your privacy your location your apps your permissions and everything that you need to give in there 
Uh, you got your storage. So this does have 128 gigs of storage. And you can see with me only installing two applications, I have 108 gigs available, which is or 104 gigs available, which is really nice. Services, Google, system updates, blah, 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 blah. Screen readers, you can do this. You got your digital security. I, this, a lot of this is Verizon stuff right there, so I turned all that off. But uh, you do have your smart Google Assistant and everything in there so as well. So let's get down here. Uh, here's your vibration and haptic feedback and things like that. Uh, vibrate ring. I, I, I got to have vibrate ring on. I prefer it on. And you got your touch feedback. It's all in there. Uh, and then let's go down here. I need to get down to gestures or navigation. Let's see here. Gestures. Let's see what it brings up. Okay, nothing for gestures. Let's go navigation. I'm hoping that, um, yeah, there we go. All right, I was about to say, man, I definitely, uh, <laughs> there we go. Let's get rid of all this right here. Hopefully it'll do it. Okay, there we go. Take a second, but remember this is running a Snapdragon uh, 480. And so, so far it's actually running right along pretty smooth from what I can tell. Oh, let's go back into navigation and make sure that power key is to power it off. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like quick launch on the camera. And then speaking of cameras, let's swipe up here. Let's go into the camera and let's see uh, what it can actually do. So you've got a wide angle lens, obviously, because you have, you know, the three camera setup right there. Uh, here's the wide angle looks like right there. That's your wide angle. Uh, and then you've got, it's set to auto and you've got the four times zoom. That goes pretty close. So we'll go up here to settings real quick, uh, picture 12 megapixel and then 50 megapixel for the high pixel count. Uh, you got video, it tops out at 1080p, 30 frames per second, looks like. You got your AI scene detection, calorie detection, smart guidelines, <laughs> calorie detection. Uh, okay, so watermark, let's definitely put the watermark on and we'll take some photos. So 50 megapixel is, is gonna be ones you have to turn on and off, uh, but you've got your video. Let's go down here real quick. This is where you get to, to everything right here. So if you wanna do the 50 megapixel, you get the, the button on the bottom left down there, as you can see the three little slashes there, and you turn on panel, pixel, super macro, slow-mo, light trace, and, and so forth. So pretty cool. Video, obviously, like I said, 1080p is where it tops out at. 1080p 30. That's that's fine because I think that's probably just a limitation of the processor. Then you got your portrait video, AI color, and you have a pro mode. These phones trip me out like these phones that are that don't cost a lot having a, a pro mode. That's very shocking to me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some photos through, around the house and a uh, portrait and just do a little video and then we'll close this one out. Hope you enjoyed it so far. All right, guys, so final thoughts on, well, final first impressions. Uh, it feels great. I mean, the cameras are better than I expected them to be. I think they've done a really good job on here. Just regular photos. The the average person or just anyone who wants a great set of cameras, and this is probably going to have fantastic battery considering the processor inside. Um, I think this is going to be great, man. I don't, I don't foresee this being uh, any just bad on battery because most of the phones like this, uh, can really, really, really push through. So let's check the system update here. Uh, let's see if there's a system update. This is running Android 11, I believe. Uh, and TZL actually has been pretty decent on doing updates. So there, <laughs> there we go. So, um, yeah, here's an update. Um, it's gonna, um, 
I'll just start that because I'm getting ready to um, turn this off anyway. So uh, I want to thank you guys for dropping by. And TCL has done a fantastic job once again of bringing you devices that you can actually purchase. Now, I know the S22 Ultras and the iPhones all come out. But it's, it's just not realistic a lot of times for us to believe that everyone's going to purchase those devices. Everyone doesn't have a trade-in. Everyone's not interested in buying those devices. So I'm going to get this set up. I'm going to continue to use it for a little while, and then I'll follow up later on. I'll continue to test Verizon's network because outside of my house, if I find one of Verizon's um, nodes for the ultra-wideband, I'll probably get two to five gigs down. So impressive. I'll test phone calls as well on their network. I appreciate them sending this over. So here is the TCL, man. Wow, the V35G. Let's clean her up. Let's clean it up. This is a good looking device right here. So I'm impressed so far, uh, just with the exception of not being able to see uh, in direct sunlight from what I tested. It's, it's, you can see it. It's just not as clear and bright as I want it to be. But again, you consider the price. Nah, it's good. Cameras, really impressed. I know the battery is going to be good. The hardware, the software, I'm already impressed. So I appreciate TCL sending this over. I'll test this out some more and I'll follow up with you. But right now, I'll leave a link where you can get this on Verizon. Some of you guys are going to ask, should I buy it? If you have an upgrade ready and you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is definitely another option for you. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.